Welcome back to Profit First Allocations. This is week number four, so you can see an update. I have hopefully improved my spreadsheet so uh, to, to give you a better over the shoulder view of how Profit First works in my business. And I took the bank account balances that I ended week three with, and I've already put those numbers in my beginning balances here. So you can see how these are gonna build. And then I changed my graph. Last week I was, I was showing, I had all the account activity onto one graph and I realized it was gonna start getting a little bit crowded as we go, as we, as we continue with this. So I've broken apart the charts and now there's one chart per bank account. So profit, owner's comp, tax, OPEX, and mastermind. Uh, the one thing I also did was I've already included in the chart, this green uh, bar in every chart is is this week, this week four. So right now it's the same uh, balance. It's this column over here. And so as I, as I update this spreadsheet, you'll see how these graphs will update accordingly. So I'm excited to say that uh, this week, and this doesn't happen all that often, but it does occasionally happen. Um, I have spent no money. So I've had no transfers and I've spent no money. And the reason being is I only have a handful of checks I write. Um, every month I write a check for my uh, rent because I do rent an office, but um, I didn't have any other checks that I wrote. And then I did not have a credit card statement due. So what I do, how I run my business, because I have a corporate card that uh, gives me cash back, I charge everything I can possibly to my credit card, let the cash back build up so I can get a bonus. It's just another way for me to get a bonus, but I do pay my credit card statement at the end of every month. Uh, when I get the statement, I pay it in full. So, and then that money will come right out of my OPEX account. So I'm excited that I have a lot of zeros happening here. And so I will update. And then I, I did not make any transfers since I didn't have, I didn't pay payroll this, you know, in this, uh, since my last transfer, because I do weekly transfers, but I do every other week for payroll. So I didn't have any transfers to reimburse. Um, so I just have allocations. And I had an amazing week last week. So I had this much come in. So $6,452. Um, that's a really amazing week for me. So I'm going to, all I have to do this week is allocations. So I'm going to allocate my 4% to profit, which is almost $260. And then 47% to my owner's comp account which is 3,100 bucks. Saving for IRS, almost $600. So my OPEX, $2,100 went into my OPEX account. So I'm excited for that. And then my mastermind account, which again, that's my cost. Um, I have one mastermind account that, or I'm sorry, one mastermind group that's part of Profit First Professionals. I'm in the mastery level. Um, and so, the mastermind account is where I, I budget for the cost to be part of the group. Plus my, the group meets twice a year in person. So it's all my travel costs, um, for our two, uh, twice a year in person meetings. So I've made all my allocations and you can see, um, and this is, this is exactly what I wanted these charts for to show you. So see how my profit account is building. Like how amazing is that? Uh, owner's comp, and this goes up and down and you'll start to see now how this is going to go up and down because it's going to build up because I have income coming in, but it goes down every other week when I pay myself my payroll, my W-2 uh, salary. And then tax is going to be similar to my profit where I'm going to let it build through the quarter. And then every quarter when I make my estimated tax payments, you'll see the, the balance come down. It won't go down to zero, but it'll go down and then it'll start to build back up again. And then OPEX, this is what you normally see in your bank account where it goes up and it's down and it's down some more and then it's up. And that's typical because that's your operating expenses. So notice how, um, you know, I, my money came in and now I'm not running my business on $6,400. I'm running my business um, on what's left after I have put money aside to reward myself to be the owner in the profit account. I am paying myself reasonable compensation to be the person working in my business. So that's what my owner's comp account is for. I have setting aside money for taxes. After those three things have been taken care of, 
Now I am running my business on what's left. So I'm running my business on this much money. And part of what I um, uh, prioritize in my business is being part of my profit first professional group. So that's why it's a, it's a significant cost to me. And that's why I make sure that I always have money set aside to pay for my dues and my travel costs to be an active member in this group. And I'm running my business then out of what's left in this operating expense. If I don't have the money in the operating expense, I really have to consider why I don't have the money to, to buy something I want to buy. If there's a course that comes up um, or some type of a conference that I really need to attend or an advertising opportunity, a sponsorship, so forth. If I don't have the money, I really have to think about why, um, you know, how, how am I going to pay for it if I don't have the money? But I, I've been doing good and I have the money. Um, so this is how it looks in week four. Follow me to find out what happens next week in week five.